So after running for a few months, it is definitely time for a change. This is the stock body that comes with the Slash 4x4 and it is shredded. Now I did cut out the back. This was to allow air to flow through because this body does tend to balloon while this car is in the air. It just kind of parachutes the car and really makes it unpredictable, uncontrollable in the air. I thought by cutting this out, it would give me a little bit more control by allowing air to escape through the back. In theory, I'll say it worked, but it also did compromise the body. It made it structurally weak and the thing just shredded apart. I tried using zip ties and a couple things to keep it together, but the body is just shredded. It's beyond repair. So to replace the slash body, I picked up this. This is the Proline Megalodon Desert Buggy Blake Wilkie Edition Tough Color Black Body Set for the Slash, either two-wheel drive or 4x4. Four four. And all right, here it is. Now sitting like this, it doesn't look like much. I do have to cut out some pieces, and it looks like they have some side fenders here that need to be cut out probably screwed in. They do include screws in the kit. Hopefully there's some directions. Let's see what we got. All right, so yes, there are simple directions included with this. Ton of stickers, three pages of stickers. I will have to be careful where I cut because a lot of these extra Lexan moldings will be used. There are some pieces in here that will make up the side fins and also the side fenders. This body is a molded Lexan. It comes in black. So there is no painting required, but there are a lot of stickers. All right, well, time to get to work. So I started cutting, but be careful because in the back, this is where the side fins are and this is where the fenders are. All right, so all my pieces are cut out. Now I can start assembling these little panels onto the body, and then I'll get to work on the stickers. Don't forget to remove the plastic protecting sheathing that's over the Lexan before applying the decals, because that would be a problem. guys so the body is done everything went together great I didn't have any problems you do really need to take your time when cutting out the Lexan pieces these back fenders you want to make sure that you're following the lines you're cutting the right way this way you can get these back fenders looking good these are held on with three screws on the inside the one critique I will say is the body is a little thin in a lot of spots towards the bottom of the body it's very thin the top hood feels pretty good it's pretty thick up here and it's definitely thick in the back this is not going to be sitting on a shelf. This is going to be out on the track, so I don't know how long it's going to last. It was rather pricey. I think it came in around $62. I do definitely love the look of this thing. I think it's something different for the Slash, and I think it'll make the Slash look really cool. The Slash 4x4 definitely needs some work before I do put the body on. I ordered up some Proline Trencher wheels. And everything just needs a really good cleaning and scrub down. I did pick up a new set of body mounts. This is part number 6087 from Proline. And these are the adjustable posts. This just will ensure that the body will fit onto the chassis. I have an old set on here. This is a set that I borrowed from my Stampede 4x4. So there's different peg slots, different holes, so you can adjust this post up or down. And it allows you to fit different bodies. 
Now a couple things to note, the directions do say to not cut it out first, put all the decals on, and then go ahead and cut out. I just went ahead and cut it all out, then put the decals on, my preference. And the other thing to note is that you want to start with the first decal number one and then work your way through. I think there's about 44 or so decals. So start with number one, number two, number three, work your way up. Reason being is some of these stickers are laid on top of each other, this X comp and this hand. These are actually over top of some base stickers. So it's important that you follow along in numerical order. I also need to check out to see what to do with these back bumpers. The body doesn't quite look right with those back bumpers. This may have to go. And I think they show some type of different bumper for the front. I'm not sure if it's a Proline bumper on the Megalodon picture, the actual official picture. But this is the slash bumper, and I think it looks okay with this on. And the one last thing that I did notice is these side skirts, these side pieces. These may have to come off because of the way the body's shaped. I don't think I need these. So I certainly have a lot of work to do. I certainly have another little project on my hands. So make sure you check out the future video on when I get this thing together and get it out on the track.